how have you found your first six months at Southampton? Yeah, really good, thank you. Really positive. Been a good transition for me to, you know, kick on with my football and to be in the first team environment and to like learn off players and really it's been really smooth and enjoying every minute of it. I want to go back to the very start. Obviously born in Solihull. Was it a footballing upbringing for you? Yeah, so I started when I was six, just, you know, local club. You, Sunday League, Kingshurst it was called, you know, just... It was actually uh, one of my primary school's friend's mum that spoke to my mum. I thought, you know, it's good if he goes to one of them football camps. And then from there, everything just started happening quickly. So your uncle was a footballer as well. Yeah. Did he help you get this career that you've got now? Yeah, he helped me. He gives me good advice, you know, um, on how to be a better player. Because obviously what helps, he plays my position as well. So, you know, he gives me little tips on how to be better. Done a few training sessions with him over like pre-season. So, yeah, it's, I say he's helped me a lot. And obviously when you started getting more involved in the professional game, you moved to Merseyside. Mm -hmm. That's another place of real footballing heritage, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Liverpool, it's a great city. Like, they love the football. The Everton-Liverpool rivalries, they'll let you know about it straight away. But it's more like, it's not as brutal as people would think. It's actually because you'll have households that are Everton fans and Liverpool fans. So like, the mum could be an Everton fan, the dad could be a Liverpool fan. So it's more like a family community rivalry. And off the field, in terms of the cities, how different is Southampton to Liverpool? I'd say Southampton's a lot more quiet. Liverpool's like, it's a fast beat city. Like everyone's up and about. Southampton's more chilled and everyone's just calm. Does that match your personality? Um, nah, not really. I'm more of a, I'm a lively type, lively character, got a lot of energy. But this sort of environment would be good for me. No distractions, everything's just, you can focus on football home, football home. My mum and my stepdad are here. When I was, previously when I was up at Everton, I was, you know, um, by myself in like a host family. So dealing with that. So now when I've moved to Southampton, I've got my family with me, so it's a lot better. Do you feel older than you actually are? Yeah, definitely. Like uh, maturity wise, I feel like I'm more advanced than many, most 17 year olds. Cause you know, obviously circumstances moving away early, you have to grow up quickly. So yeah, maturity wise, that's why I can, I'm fitting in with the boys up there because I'm quite mature and can have like adult conversations. And also, you know, like we tell our bros my own conversations, like, you know, being a little bit childish and stuff. So yeah, it's good. It's good to have that balance. When we get days off, I mainly head back to Birmingham and just see the family. You know, my family are a big part of my career so far. So it's a Caribbean household, so everyone's lively and, you know, you know, we like food, dancing, singing, stuff like that. So yeah, it's nice. I was going to say, there must be some great dishes coming out of those yeah, family events, isn't it? jerk chicken, everything. <laughs> Has it helped having quite a few younger teammates around you, the likes of Nathan, Tino, Brozier? Yeah, definitely, because obviously there's not a big age gap between us, like two, three years. So, you know, we've got similar personalities, everyone getting along, we like the same sort of things. So it's a lot um, easier to have them around me and, you know, to talk to and, you know, to have laughs and jokes. Do you spend a lot of time with them outside the training ground? Me and Broj went for TGIs a few weeks ago, so yeah. And just lastly, obviously you're really at the start of your journey here at Southampton. What are the aims for the future? Just to play as many games as I can for the club, you know, to keep kicking on and hopefully I can be a real good player for Southampton's first team in the future. You know, it's not going to be straight away. I know that, I understand that. But hopefully, you know, when the time's right and everything comes into place, hopefully I can be re a real key player in the future. And go to TGI Fridays more. And yeah. <laughs>